today's video is an answer video for one of your questions in the comments somebody asked a very useful question which is what are the reference books that are used for different subjects during my BTech in biotechnology. So it's been actually seven years and I can't even believe that I have completed my BTech uh, and now that it's been seven years uh, since then. Uh, but I still know the books that I used, not all of them, I cannot remember all of them, but I do remember the most crucial ones. And in this video, I will tell you about five subjects and what are the reference books that I used for um, learning more about those subjects. So when I was doing my BTech in biotechnology at the SRM University in the Department of Biotechnology, what we were told is that we have to refer some reference books. Alongside, we had the slides, uh, so the presentations that the professors had given us. Um, but I would totally recommend reading these reference books because the slides are very useful, yet if you want to uh, dive deep into the topic, what you need to do is to read the reference book because you will have everything in detail and uh, you don't have to do this for every subject because doing this for every subject will be so cumbersome, so you need to know in which subjects you are more interested in. and. Um, I think your BTEC uh, degree duration is such a good time to explore different subjects. And um, I personally enjoyed reading a lot about immunology. I, I really remember reading uh, immunology a lot. And then I also read uh, biochemistry in detail. Uh, other subjects that I read in detail from the reference books were uh, pharmacology, for sure, because I, I loved pharmacology. We were taught that for one semester, sorry, two semesters, and at the moment I don't know what is your uh, syllabus like at the SRM University, but I could tell you that the reference book that I used for pharmacology was amazing. Um, it was recommended to me by my uncle who's a cardiologist and it's, it's a bit funny that uh, it's just by coincidence that I visited his house um, when I was in I think my like in the beginning of my fifth semester and I looked at the book and I'm like uh, hey actually this is a pharmacology book and I took it uh, from his bookshelf and I, I was like can I borrow this and he's like well yes definitely yes because he wasn't reading that book at that time and he told me that is such a wonderful book so I just told him that uh, if I can borrow him and he agreed um, uh, to let me uh, take that book and till day that book is at my home and this time when I was at home back in India I was actually going through some chapters of that book and it made me feel nostalgic when I went through that book so um, all in all uh, now let's get started I will share uh, the I'll share my computer screen because then you can see uh, who are the authors and um, well, this is something that we did at the time in, in my BTEC biotechnology course to borrow the book from the library and read it um, because these books are really expensive and until and unless you are like super rich, you probably wouldn't spend so much money on these books or if you're really, really into the topic, I think it's worthwhile to spend money on these books. Um, but if you are um, limited in terms of uh, your finances, I would really recommend you to go to the library to borrow these books and take them with care, but then to make good notes, good handwritten notes about these books. And um, this will serve you lifelong if you're planning to do um, research in future. These books have amazing uh, basic explanations on all the foundations that you need especially even during your PhD so I still remember referring to immunology QB book a couple of times and also I still refer to the essentials of pharmacology by Dr. K.D. Tripathi so now um, without waiting much I will show you the websites and these books that I used uh, during my BTEC and these are at the moment limited to five subjects but uh, we can discuss a bit later about a few more books um, but at the moment I have to admit that I don't remember all the books because it's, it's been 
a while and I actually shifted to neuroscience after 2016 so after completing my BTEC I really um, switched my field from biotech to neuroscience so you wouldn't see me talking that much about biotech but I do talk about it because I did spend my four years of career in in biotech so all right now I will show you the screen so stay tuned if you're still interested in knowing which reference books one should read but this is my personal suggestion so um, I'm sure your professors will tell you which books to read so you can just uh, take this as a suggestion and um, decide for yourself all right so we're here and you can see here this is the book that i would recommend for biochemistry this will be mostly taught in your first semester but it depends you know like it depends on the syllabus change right now um this is taking some time to open so let me go back i'll just show you that this is called principles of biochemistry it's by Nelson and Michael M. Cox. Um, it's called Leninger Principles of Biochemistry. Very easy to find in the library. Um, and then the next one is for microbiology. It's by Pelser. And then, um, yes, this is the one that I was talking about, The Essentials of Medical Pharmacology by Dr. K. D. Tripathi. It talks amazingly about pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, both. And I remember studying this for one whole year and this served out to be a really, really good reference book for myself. And then uh, QB Immunology, this one. Oh God, this is taking more than ever. Anyways, so this is QB Immunology that one need to read for immunology. I used to score actually really good in immunology. Um, so <laughs> this book really helped me. To, to understand everything, I still remember um, about the B cell receptor, T cell receptor and all the intricacies. Uh, so this book is the best for immunology. And then for cancer biology, I read Robert A. Weinberg. It's here, you know, this one. Um, this is a website here in Switzerland that I use for sometimes buying books, but you can also check this on Amazon. But what I would prefer is that you just go to the library, read this book and make all the notes. Uh, that would be the best. All right. So that's quite about it.